What's happening guys, Safety Liner C2 here. It's time for Lots of Lots and there's a couple that I want to show you. Don't forget that if you have something that you want to submit for Lots of Lots, bust up for sale, the picture videos, or any one of my videos in general, you can throw it in the video request form found in the description of any one of my videos. So this first lot was submitted anonymously. We are in Ashland, Virginia, July 2019, starting in the back of the lot where we have a vision, some sort of Thomas, a couple ICs, another Thomas, and some more ICs and Thomases the rest of the way down. Moving down a little bit, it looks like we have some C2s, some more visions, maybe some F. FS65, CEs, uh, first gen CE, another C2, another first gen. We have some FS65s and first gens, some sort of IC, FE, or RE, some sort of type D right there. CE looks like a potential TCRE, I'm not sure, but it's some sort of Bluebird type D. Another FS65, some first and second gen CEs and C2s the rest of the way down. And in front of the garage, we have some FS65s, a first gen CE, a few Visions, and a few C2s. Looking at the front of the lot now, July 2023, we have a CE, a first gen Vision, an FS65, and some more ICs in the background. July 2019 shows us two Visions and an FS65. July 2017 shows us a International or Amtrain FE, a First Gen CE, and a TC2000. September 2016 shows us a mix of First Gen CEs, some Visions, an FS65, and that same, or I assume to be same, International or Amtrain FE. And finally, October 2012, we have three First Gen CEs, a Genesis, another first gen CE, an EF, and two more first gen CEs. That was a good lot. There was some nice variety in there. I do wish that we were able to go back further in the lot just to see what other buses that they had in there, but nice start. Terrell7405 submitted this lot and the next lot. We are in Waconia, Minnesota, June 2019. Starting on the far end, we have a Vision. There is a little Collins Chevy and a Thomas Minnow Tour that's also on a Chevy chassis. Then there's four C2s, a first gen CE, and a second gen CE with black fenders and a chrome grille. There's another early second gen CE right here. There's an A3FE, a CE and C2, two CEs and a Vision in the garage, two C2s also in the garage, two more CEs, two more C2s, some sort of unidentified Thomas, a Colin Chevy, another CE, another C2, and another A3FE. In August 2014, we can see an EF, another unidentified Thomas and a Minnow Tour, an A3FE and CE, a few more CEs, and notice that these two have dual stop signs. I don't think that's been on any of the other ones. There's a C2 and a Thomas 3800. And finally, potato quality. October 2008, there's two more unidentified Thomases and a CE. Then we have another Thomas 3800, some sort of international or IC another Thomas, and another CE. There's two more CEs right here, another first gen CE, a couple more second gen CEs, and two more Thomases. Wrapping it up, we have another Thomas 3800, and I'd say the best find in the lot is this Thomas S1800 with a black hood and black fenders. There's something about this that just works. I'm honestly surprised that the majority of the buses there didn't have black fenders or a black hood or much black on them at all. That's a pretty Minnesota thing to do. So maybe we'll see that in this next lot, again, submitted by Terrell7405. We are still in Minnesota, this time in Little Falls, September 2023. We have two what appear to be first-gen visions and a C2. There's another C2 two CEs and a Vision. Kind of interesting how they spec these CEs. Obviously, you can see that they're different orders of CEs, if you will. This one has a crossing gate, this one doesn't. This one has warning light covers while this one doesn't. But notice the grill colors especially. We have a black grill and then a gray grill. I think out of the two, I'm leaning towards this gray one. Out front, they have a first gen CE on display, another second gen CE, another first gen CE, and a Thomas Minnow Tour. We have three more C2s in the garage, and I'm just now realizing that the Vision is towing this little trailer. October 2018 shows us that there are two Bluebird 3800s and a Thomas 3800. There's another Thomas 3800 out front, two more Thomas 3800s, and then what appears to be a mid bus and a US bus, although I can't tell for sure. July 2014, we have three Thomases and a mid bus, definitely a US bus, another Minnow Tour, an Amtran 3800 with a front wheelchair lift, a Bluebird 3800, a couple Thomas 3800s, 
another what appears to be mid-boss, a CE which this one appears to have a chrome grill on it, and then a Vista. I don't think I've ever seen a Vista with a black hood, and with how small that hood is on there, that just looks kind of weird. So that one is definitely more so of a stereotypical Minnesota lot with all the black on the hood and the fenders. And I wish that I was actually able to see what buses they had in potato quality because I'm sure that they had some good stuff. And the last lot brings us to Andrews, Texas, March 2013. Starting on the end, we have some sort of bluebird, Thomas, an activity bluebird, an IC, two crown or carpenters, another IC, a couple more bluebirds, another Thomas, and CEs the rest of the way down with a bluebird on the end. There's another CE all the way back here, a couple coach buses in the garage. We have this little Collins Ford, which apparently has AC on there. I mean, I guess I can't complain about that. Although one thing I will complain about is the district name being above the windows. I see it every now and then on these smaller buses and it's just never right. And in front of that we have a 1991 TC. We can tell that based off of this little hood on there. A couple things to note on this bus, it's a particularly short TC. We can see that it is a handicapped bus with the wheelchair lift in the back. It has a jackknife door. Look at the warning lights as well, how the ones on the passenger side kind of stick out while the ones on the driver's side are kind of pushed in. And then also notice that we have a New York style school bus sign on there. That's not something I was expecting to see. We have another one of these shorty Collins Fords, again with AC, and a Bluebird 3800s with an air horn at the top. Nice. Check this bus out though. We have a Bluebird S1800 that looks to be in pristine condition. Just like the 3800, this bus has air horns on the top, and it also has a stop sign on there, which Texas didn't require until the early 90s, obviously. This bus was made before then, so I'm wondering if they actually ordered it like that or put it on after, but I think all the buses that didn't have stop signs were grandfathered in. Potato quality, December 2007, we can see the three coach buses again, an S1800 down here next to another Bluebird, and then a mix of Thomas, Bluebirds, and those Crown or Carpenters, with two CEs on the end. We also have another TC and two Wayne S1800s. Again, these have stop signs on them. June 2021, a little bit down the street, we have two CEs. We can also see from this angle, there appears to be that Shorty Collins Ford down there. Some more CEs and a Crown or Carpenter. Another Crown or Carpenter, two more CEs and another Thomas. This appears to be the last S1800 that they had, and this one is unfortunately not as good looking as the other ones. Again, air horn up top. This one doesn't have a stop sign, but it looks like it's been removed, and I'm curious to know if they still have this bus. March 2013 shows us two more Bluebird S1800s and a Wayne S1800, and yet again, this Shorty Collins Ford. And finally, potato quality. December 2007, we have a shorter Bluebird S1800, a TC, and another Bluebird S1800. So obviously that's a smaller district, so it makes sense that they kept their S1800s a little bit longer, but I'm just really glad that they did. And also having the air horns on there was a nice touch, and for the time, having stop signs in Texas on there, again, nice touch. Anyways, that's all I have. Don't forget that if you have something that you want to submit for lots of lots, bust up for sale, the picture videos, or any one of my videos in general, you can throw it in the video request form found in the description of any one of my videos. And with that, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I always do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe right down here. It's a magical white button that says you are now subscribed to Safety Liner C2. Make sure you comment up here, down here, over here, or over here. I don't know where they put it down. I don't care where they put it. Make sure you also give this video a thumbs up, or all the current S1800s that are still out there are going to be destroyed. And make sure you also share this video with a friend. Show it to your mom, show it to your dad, show it to a guy on a random street. I don't care. Don't let anything happen to you. So, yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. And thanks for watching.